Die too young. Hundred miles per hour, my smash is a good die young. What's up? Today I'm going to be showing you the install of my RV latch on my box trailer, the drift trailer. So the first thing I got to do is go ahead and get the old latch off or go put it like right where the old latch is because it's good height on the inside and it's decent on the outside. And then once we get that done, we can start making our hole for it on the door. One good thing about my door is that it doesn't have much space, it's like a quarter inch between the door frame and this frame. So I'll be able to utilize the uh, screws for the tab on this side and I won't have to uh, like really get it far out there to get this to latch. But yep, other than that, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. So stay tuned and we'll get it knocked out. Now that our old latch is off, we'll go ahead and take this inner plate off. So if I remember right from yesterday, the, the sandwich thickness of this thing is like an inch and a quarter. And my door is like right under an inch and a quarter. So I might need like an eighth inch spacer on the inside, but we're gonna see. If anything, I could probably get some more like 3M tape like this and do the same thing on the inside, and that'd probably hold it pretty sturdy. But if not, we're gonna figure it out. It's definitely gonna be sturdy. Now that we got that off, we're gonna go to our door. So the first things first uh, is that I know I want this to sit flush with the flat side of this 90 right here. So that'd be about like that, flush. And base, basing off of that, we're gonna go and I'm gonna draw or yeah, outline this this square, this rectangle of the the smallest part that sandwiches in between the wood. We're gonna cut that out. But I think we're gonna have to go a little bit bigger to slip this in here, but we'll see. So we're gonna trim this 90 out right here and then out on the inside and take it out pretty much completely. And that's gonna be right there, then we'll be able to put our plate, but we don't wanna make the hole too big because we want our plate to be able to still sandwich against the 90, which this one right here. But you still want that. But I mean, you got enough room. It's like half inch on each side. All right, so we're gonna start putting down some measurements on this thing. That coming in for our mechanism, and we're just gonna bolt it here. And then we got our small square. So what I'm gonna do is take a uh, step bit, drill through here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a jigsaw to cut most of this out. And then I'm probably gonna get the uh, Metabo, cut that out. All right. Step bit. No going back now. <laughs> I'm playing, I wouldn't want to go back. It was not too secure how it was, but it's fixing to be secure.
got the square cut out really close. I got the, this part of the 90 gone. And then I got it into the 90 some. I just gotta get the vertical cut to get that little chunk of wood out. And then I should have enough room to swing this in there. So it's gotta go in like this. All right, with a little more Dremelin, I got it in there. I'm gonna have to paint all that stuff before I put this in there all the way, but we got our hole marked up. Slides in there. And then... Oh, there it is. Next, we gotta line up our frame, our hole. It's gonna be like somewhere right here. So we can put our backing plate in there. Latch. So it's got this little slot. You make the hole. Boom, there's the latch. And then we also have our latch for this, which should still be usable, just like so. And then the screws to the latch itself. Boom. So those two are gonna be fairly easy. Now it's gonna be real easy. This one I'm gonna try and cut. I'll probably do a hole and do it with the Dremel. The interior plate is installed and the end plate. This came out pretty good. It's not sitting flush with the 90, but it sits flush with everything else. So it looks all right. Uh, the only thing about the latch, oh, shit. the only thing about the latch is it still needs its backing plate, but it's actually sitting real sturdy. Like it's nice and tight with this uh, end plate on and it mounted. But I got about a quarter inch, about a quarter inch gap I need to fill. So we're gonna make the backing plate probably last. So we got our two marks right there. That's where our latch is coming in at and hitting. That's the top bottom of the latch. So we just need to get this in the center of that, like so. So I gotta move these two screws because they're in my way. Alright, moment of truth. Everything's on but the backing plate. It should shut. Oh, beautiful. It's looking good. Now I just gotta secure this to the to the wood because I'm missing a bunch of screws. I use screws that have like two and a half threads on. But yeah, other than that, it's looking great. All I need is our backing plate. All right, a little spacer. I mean, like I said, it's on there pretty tight, but I don't know, just to make sure it doesn't leak and make it real hard to get in there. I don't know, <laughs> it's on there pretty well. And making the spacers could take a long time. What I might just do is find a thick, style 3M like this right here, just to give it a little bit more, you know, something pushing against it to help seal it up. Like, like I said, like, it's not moving any type of way. With everything working as it should, the only thing left to do now that I've decided not to add the spacer in the back because it's really tight and sealed. 
Unless I see water coming in, I'm not going to uh, add a spacer. The only thing left to do now is smooth out this edge a little bit and then take it out, or take it out, smooth out the edge, and then we'll go rattle cam this little spot black just to kind of match the rest of the trailer. Being that the whole trailer needs a paint job, I'm not going to freak out, take a whole lot of time on this. I'm just going to rattle cam it. And we're we'll going to worry about it later when we paint the whole trailer. We got our back installs looking great, especially a 10 footer. So now that that's done, I also got this door fixed up and ready to go. How to put some new carriage bolts and stuff. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit the like and subscribe button and come back next time and see what we got going on. Once we start getting to the track, the videos are going to be way more fun and stuff like that. But this is more of like informational stuff and takes a lot of prep to get to the track and have a quality setup. So yeah, keep watching and thank you and take it easy.